Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make the name boom card that's very personalized. Um, so you go to studio, you go down to more decks, and you create a new deck right here. This will bring you to what kind of looks like a PowerPoint presentation. Um, on the left hand side, you'll have a template card and just random cards, um, or the cards that aren't going to make a template. So anything you put in the template card repeats itself down on this side. And so I'm going to just start in the template card. I'm going to make a different colored background. Um, I'm going to choose yellow. Um, and then you're going to bring down, you're going to drag this button. So let's make the letters in my son's name is Jacob. So you kind of just make a square. I'm going to write the letter J. Um, I'm going to highlight that J because I want it a lot bigger, maybe 48. And then I want to change the font to that font. I own that font. I don't want the yellow background in there. So I'm going to make sure that I click this. And the background of that's going to be white. <clears throat> Apply and boom, you have your first letter. So I, you can duplicate this. Boom, so now I have two letters, and then I just change this, oops, to the letter A, uh, duplicate this. I'm just going to move this over. Oh, that didn't keep the font, of course. Let's change that back. This one's going to be the letter C. Um, I kind of try to make it straight. Let's see if I can do this. Um, I just pushed Control D and it duplicated it for me. That would be a shortcut you can use um, or use this duplicate button. And then I have all of his name. <clears throat> um, excuse me. So then you have his name. Then you can make the letters up top. I don't know what just happened. I'm going to make a J over here. I'm going to duplicate this one and make the A over here. I'm going to duplicate this one. Oops, what happened? I didn't hit. Sometimes when you don't hit it, it makes this like little thing up here. So I'm going to duplicate that one. Maybe bring the C over here. Um, duplicate the O, bring the O up. Now, after this, I'm going to show you where the magic happens and how you drag and drop. Um, so sometimes you don't want it to be bold. I keep pointing to the screen, but you can't see my fingers. So see how these are bolded and they are black. Um, you, When you make another card, you could change that to gray or you can start with gray depending on your student. Um, but let me show you where the magic happens. So down here, you're going to make all of these a drop zone. See where it says drop zone? You're just going to make it a drop zone. Click and click drop zone. Click, drop zone. Click, drop zone. Then when you're up here, you're going to click the A and make it draggable. So go ahead and click all of these. Make them all draggable, draggable, draggable. Then you take these little fingers and you put it on the flags to, to the match. So take the J finger and put it on the J. See how it makes a line? You're gonna make the A right on that flag. It has to touch it. Um, so I'm just gonna go through like this. And so there, so say you want, oh, let me show you the preview. Preview's up here. So they will just drag and drop. And I'm going to show you something in a second. Do you see how that's not really snapping to the middle? But it will be correct. <clears throat> so when you click on the drop zone, if you click snap to center, it will, the J will snap right in the middle. So let me go on all of these and press snap to center and then 
and then you have your first card done. So I want to come over here and you're going to click this box that you already did your first card. You're going to hit clone the selected card. Now you have a brand new card that you want to mess with. So say you want to fade the prompt. So you go over here, let's make it a different fun color background. But instead of um, these dark J's, I might want like a gray. Um, so I would turn these and actually that looks kind of blue. Maybe I hit the wrong color, but whatever. I'm just gonna go through and um, make all of the ones down here that light blue. So it just fades it away just enough to maybe he can understand. Make sure it's highlighted, otherwise it won't turn the blue. And then, um, and then you have it. You can also move these around. So do you see how it has a little lock button? You have to unlock that because it's in the template card and you're trying to move it down here. It's locked. So just unlock it. Maybe you want to move it over here. That little line will follow its place. Uh, maybe I want to move the C over here just to make it a little bit more difficult or um, fun. And there you have that. Then say you want to um, do another card. You go over here, you press clone the card. And maybe you don't want any um, letters down here at all. I don't know why this is still, there we go. I just gotta delete them. Like the bull butters come back. Not sure why. I'm gonna delete the blue one. <laughs> All right, so there's that. So, and we wanna make this a different color as well. Make sure you're hitting the background. Um, so we will go, maybe let's do green. All right, so you have faded prompts here. Let's make sure that that's right. So let's do the preview. So J, A, C, oop, see how this snaps to the center? C, O, B, yep, that's correct. And then J, A, C, O, B. And that's correct. And then, uh-oh, I don't know why this showed up bold. I'll have to go back, but sometimes you make mistakes and you just have to figure that I'm out. So let's go back. Okay to quit. And we go down here and erase these again. So you can just play with these yourself. Um, so another thing I wanted to show you really quick was what I'm going to do for Jacobs, I haven't recorded the voice audio, but you can add sound to these. So I was just gonna put like a little sound box. Let's just pretend you put sound in here. And I haven't recorded it, but I was just gonna make these little sound boxes above each box. So that when he goes in here, he has to press this little volume icon and it will say J. Or maybe it'll say, find the letter J, or however you want to do it. And then they would have to be able to identify which letter up here and then pull it down. It's just one more way that they can practice this. Um, another thing is, if you don't want to use a template card, you just add a new card. Oh, I guess it does do the template card. So you'd have to um, add a new card, insert objects, it's collected, new card from images. Okay, so I guess you can't add a blank card. I just wanted a blank card. Um, so anyways, you can, I guess, don't start with the template card if you want to make different cards, but you can delete these. It just takes a little bit more time because you have to get to the lock button, unlock it, press delete, or you can just use this thing over here and delete and delete. So I'm going to do this in a hurry. Um, or you can fast forward through this part. Because um, I want to show you another way that they can practice their name. 
Um, I'm just gonna make this last one undrop, undrop zone, um, which is just this little back button. Huh? Maybe not. Okay, so I guess I'm deleting this one. <clears throat> See, it's a learning process for everybody. I'm gonna change the background color again to maybe a red. Or maybe a black, maybe you have somebody who needs high contrast. And um, so you make the button however big you want. Maybe I'm putting Jacob's name in here. I would duplicate this and put somebody else's name in here. I'll put a sister's name. Um, and so you have Jacob and Ava. Maybe you want these different colors. Maybe you want this one red and this one yellow. Super high contrast. It's really difficult to read, but you might want to up the size of that. Maybe make it bold and make it white. There. So you bold it, you up the size to whatever that was, 48, and make this white. So then, oh, I guess the yellow doesn't work behind there. Okay, so when you go to preview, see how they can't click, they're just clicking anything, and then they would have to submit. What you have to do for this page is you have to click here and make this the correct response, and click here and make this the wrong response. So anytime he clicks his name, this will be the right one. I'll show you how that is. Ready? Perfect. Um, so that is that. You can also add volume or volume. You can also add sound. Now it's going to disappear because it's black. Um, but maybe I can make it white. No, can I can make it it's a different color. I guess not. But anyways. So you're gonna to wanna to hit autoplay because anytime they turn to a new card, the autoplay makes this little sound button play. So you would want this to say, find Jacob, or maybe you want it to say, where's your name? Or whatever direction you're gonna put here and then that, that will play. So that when you preview it, see that little button? It just make it's just I didn't record the the sound so um, this video seems a little random but it's okay um, and so that's one way you can also add a few more names in here so maybe a field of four you can also um, change these around so maybe you want to duplicate this slide clone selected card so maybe you want this one to be on this side this time and this one down here. Um, like that. And how you go to publish it, so when you go to the details section up here, you want to just say like name card or whatever it is. Um, and I published to private, so my own account only has this. Um, and so my students can, nobody can use this unless I assign it to them. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.